Hi everyone, in this video clip, I will show you how to use STAP. We will be using a Stata Online data package called uh, Auto. First, I will show you uh, how to use the STAP and why we want to use STAP. If we want regression uh, in the usual way, this is the output the data gives. It is comprehensive, but sometimes this is too much. Uh, for a lot of cases, all we are interested in will be the coefficient and the p-value. And we may not be interested in the all the coefficients. We may be only interested in one or two. Furthermore, we want we may want to compare coefficients from multiple models. And this is obviously not an efficient way to display things, especially when uh, the variable list gets much longer. So some smart guys uh, figured out a way to uh, run STAP. STAP is not a default state command. That uh, That's why if you want to use it, you, you want to make sure that you have it. So you want to use find it as tab and it will show up uh, a package called st double eight five slash one and click to install and it will tell and then it will be done. After you install the S tab you can run things like this. So you run regression you use S two and you name the model uh, as you like and you say as tab model 1 so in the simple case it will only give you uh, coefficient t value and number of observation on top of that we may want to have adjusted r square the way to generate adjust r square is to use option ar2 so we get adjust r square now comes the exciting part that I can run a different regression. Now I have two predictor variable. Then I store the model as model two. Now I can display the two models side by side, which is much more convenient to look at than you have to buy than comparing two uh, complete state of regression models. Uh, in the following time, I will show you a couple of uh, customization that you can do. Uh, first customization is you may want to have p-value, which is quite simple. Is You just use option p, now the t-value will go to uh, p-value. The next thing you may want to do is you want to control the digits displayed on the table. For example, you may want to display more digits for the coefficient and the less digits for the p-value. Let's say I want to display four digits uh, for the coefficient and two di di digits for the p-value. So you can explain, uh, you can specify in a parenthesis how much, di how many digits you want to have in the table. there could be situations where you only want to display certain uh, variable. For example, if you have a very long list of control variable and the coefficient is they are not your primary interest, you, you may not want to display them. So uh, STAP also give you a nice way to specify what kind of uh, coefficients you want display on the table. So here I just want to display MPG so I say keep MPG and everything else drop off. Or I can tell Stata what I want to drop off. In this case will be turn and the constant. Notice uh, that I'm using a space to, con to continue listing different variables. Also sometimes the uh, variable name uh, in starting Stata can be quite weird and maybe you want to 
replace that with the variable label you have created. Uh, you can also do that easily by using the option label. Now the variable name is replaced uh, by the description of the variable label. Uh, also you can do some other marginal changes. For example, I can add a title to the whole table. Uh, so the title and you type in a string uh, wrapped by a double quotation mark. So the model, the test model shows up here. You can also uh, modify in the model name for the sub models. Uh, like one factor or two factor. So one thing to be careful is that you don't want to have a long string of model name because the space is just so long and if you just keep adding uh, strings, state that will give you very weird looking uh, label name. For example, if I have one factor model which is larger than the space available, it will have M tilde L, which is not ideal. So you want to be concise about uh, what you want to name as the title for the models. Uh, sometimes the notes can be also important, and this kind is kind of silly notes. Especially if I report in p-value, then t statistics inferences are not actually used for description of the uh, stuff I'm doing. So you can drop the notes by using no notes, or you can add additional notes. Uh, uh, by using a uh, test string and string connecting by space. Uh, finally, the nice thing about STAB is that it can actually output all the tables to Excel directly, which is very nice because Stata didn't have a good uh, interface. Uh, you can just add using uh, and specify the direction name and the file name. Here I recommend you to use CSV because for some reason if you use an XLS the formatting gets really weird. And uh, you can see I can pile on all the uh, options I have used before. Let's see how it works out. So yeah, you can see you have name, model name, uh, some model name, you have p-value, you have uh, correct notes, you have adjusted R square, and you have labels. So everything works out nicely. Uh, lastly, I want to uh, introduce some options that you might be used for uh, for running a log logistic model. So one thing that you might want to reporting on is the odds ratio for the logistic model and suddenly if you just run logit it will give you a coefficient rather than the odds ratio to transformation uh, the coefficient you can use e form and it will give you a proper odds ratio and a proper z value st stats to verify let me just run logistic and you can see this is indeed the true odds ratio and indeed the true z value. Thanks for watching this video. Hope it helps.